Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure App Service Environment and how to create it. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Log on to the portal and let me check if my directory is correct. I'm going to click on this option. Sometime it works, sometime it doesn't. I don't know what is the problem with the Azure portal. I have changed the directory and I'm logging on to my working directory in which I have a subscription. So I'm going to click on create a resource. And it will take me to the list of the resources that I can create. I'm going to type in app service environment. Oh, we have app service domain as well. So I'll make a video on that one as well. So, so in here it says that app service environment is the deployment of the Azure app service into your own Azure virtual network. This enables your apps to have direct access to corporate resources over site to site or express out connections. Apps deployed in an app service environment or ASE operate in isolated pricing plans and have higher scale out options than are otherwise available. So in here, so when you create a Azure web app, it the web app is created into the shared environment. So your IP addresses are also shared and it is uh, accessible over the public internet. This is also accessible over the public internet, but you can force tunnel the traffic to your site to site through your on-prem network through site to site or express route connections and this app service environment can host windows web apps linux web apps docker containers mobile apps functions apps right and uh, this ases will host applications from only one customer and do so in other of one of the other units users have fine-grained control over inbound and outbound application network traffic Applications can establish high-speed secure connections over VPN to the corporate resources. So it is a dedicated environment and it's exclusively to a single subscription and can host up to 100 app service plan instances. And it is also composed of front ends and uh, workers. Front ends are responsible for HTTP or HTTPS termination and automatically automatic load balancing of the app request. and uh, and as a user, we do not we do not need to manage front ends and workers. All infrastructure is automatically added as customers scale out their app service plans. So if I click on create, I would create a new resource group. Test SR -S -E -R -G. You can create anything you want. Then I would create an app service name. I would give her test. So, in here it is external or internal. So, the difference would be so let's create an external app service environment here. So, Azure app service environment is a deployment of Azure app service into a subnet. So, so uh, this is uh, with a VIP on an external IP addresses, it is known as external ASE. So I will have a virtual IP on an external IP address. And other, word, other one is with the VIP on an internal IP address. So it is often called as ILB, Internet Load Balancing ASE, because of the internet endpoint is an internal load balancer. So I will create internal ASE as well. In here, let's go with uh, the external ASE. So just in few things to note that after you create the ASC, we cannot change the location, subscription, resource group, VNet it is using, subnet used and the subnet size. So please make sure that when you choose a VNet and specify a subnet, make sure that it's large enough to accommodate future growth and scaling needs. So often Azure recommends a size of slash 24, which is 256 addresses. So you can, there are three ways to create an ASC. You can create it while creating an app service plan or as a standalone action or through the from an Azure uh, resource manager template, the PowerShell template. So let's create an ASC and an app service plan together. Let's, I've done the name. So let's go with the external here. OS support, I will go with uh, Windows. You can do anything you want.
or I'm sorry, let's create a web app. Okay, let's, I'm sorry, I'm going to click on new again. And I'm going to click on web app here. We all know what a web app is. If you don't know, please check out my previous videos. So I'm going to go on here, test, sir. Right, web app name would be the web app. You can name it anything you want. And then select the OS, select the app service plan. I'm going to go with Linux code, runtime stack. I'm going to go with Python or anything you want. Right. I'm going to go with .NET. I'm going to go six location is central us or you can okay now i'm going to create an app service plan so this is my app service plan and uh, so let's create a new app service plan here if you create on change size right so in here it says isolated for production depth test i'm going to click on isolated and uh, if you choose an isolated sku card in a location that's not an ac a new ac is created in that location to start the process to create an ac sel select you create a select here you can go with one two or anything you want and uh, these options are available you click on apply right and now it gives you your app service environment name and the isolated sku is available only in conjunction with an asc you we cannot use any other pricing sku in an asc other than isolated so now let's enter the name of the asc oh, test other asc okay virtual ip type is external because we are creating an external asc if we would be creating an internal ASC, that I will create in the next video. We'll go with internal ASC. Click on next. Application insights. If you want to enable, you can. If you don't want to enable, you cannot. Let's say I'm not enabling. I'm going to click on networking. It says select the virtual network. So specify the Azure virtual network details here. You can either go with create new or select an existing. I do not have an existing network. So I will create on create new. I'm going to go test Azure VNet. So virtual, it's giving me 192.168.250.0 slash 23 in the selected region. If you select existing, we need to select the VNet address block if you have more than one. Enter a new subnet name. Right. So I'm going to create a new subnet here because I don't have it. So you can create a new subnet name. Select the size of the subnet. Remember to select a size large enough. We recommend Azure recommend slash 24 it says my virtual network address is this subnet name is uh, you can give this right subnet address block you can select slash 24 I'm sorry you would do uh, 192.168 I would go with this there are no existing subnets so I'm going to create one I select OK this is done. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to click on review create. It will check for the validation. It's validating. If it's fail, if it fails, then it will not. Okay. It has passed the validation. These are the, if you can check on, you want to click on pricing details, you can check that. will come up so these are the priority monthly ac free this one isolated worker tier one selected select the cost right go through the details on the microsoft documentation click on create it, it will initialize the deployment it would submit the deployment check the status here 
you want to do it click on it deployment is in progress let me pause this video and come back okay my AAC is deployed and you can check the AAC health here on the portal the service endpoints are not configured it in the process of configuring if you want to check the IP address IP addresses I'm sorry of this AAC it it's getting created that is why so we'll we'll check few more configuration in the coming videos and we'll uh, do a lot of things regarding ASC. So in the next AS, in the next video, we'll create the internal ASC and then we'll proceed further with the with including uh, integrating application gateway. We'll try to also create ASC from the template. We'll do the force tunnel configuration, firewall integration, zone redundancy. Then we'll also see ASC version three, which is still in preview. And uh, we'll also see how to integrate ASC with a web application for a firewall, which is WAF. And we'll also see some custom ASC settings as well. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye.